Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem to you story in chapter 29. Chapter 29 is about electromagnetic induction and Faraday's law. So we are looking down on the elastic conducting loop. This one, right? And uh, we know its resistance is given and the magnetic field dense and the cross-sectional areas BT and AT changes with time. So now we need to find the magnetic and the direction viewed uh, from the above of the page and of the induced current within the loop and this is a time taking right as a t equal to two second. First one, if the magnetic field then is a parallel to the plane of the loop to the right, so this is the first situation, right? The loop is there. The magnetic field then is just a parallel to the plane. So in this case, we can say there is no magnetic flux, right? So no mag magnetic plus goes through. So the magnetic, the induced EMF is zero. Current is zero. Very easy to understand. The second one tells us the uh, the magnetic field is perpendicular to the plane of the loop down, right? So we can see, we look from the top, right? We look from the top, and the, the magnetic field is just down. That means it is uh, moves far away, right? Moves far away from us. So in this uh, paper, we can think it is uh, pointing in. Do you agree? Pointing in. And then we can see how the magnetic flux changes in this loop. So we use B times A, right? And then you can see in this equation, it changes with time. But there, the constant A0, alpha, beta are positive, right? So that means as time progresses, the phi t will increase. Do you agree? As t increases, magnetic flux will increase, right? So there, we can consider Lenz law. So Lenz law tell us compensation. When the magnetic influx, so the induced EMF will just uh, compensate with this increase, right? So the induced EMF will produce magnetic field as just uh, dominate the, it increases so much. So in the opposite direction, so this part is out. Do you agree? So now we can use the right hand rule to determine its direction. Please use your right hand. You can see your thumb pointing out, pointing out of the paper, and then your four fingers will rotate in this way. Do you agree? So this is a counterclockwise direction, right? We de determine its direction. Now we do calculation. We can calculate the induced EMF in this equation. Right, and this equation is the derivation phi t with the time taking time t. So it looks like this one, and then the induced current use the induced EMF divided by r the resistance. So now you get the equation look like this one. Input all the given quantities, you can get answer there. Thank you.